Hello everybody, good evening and welcome back to Nigeria Esports Road to Riyadh. Glad you all could join us here tonight for another set of beautiful gameplays that we have for you all this evening. This is day number seven of the group stage fixtures and the teams hopefully are going to put up a very, very you know, fantastic gameplay. All three matches, best of one as usual. So before we jump in, let's take a quick look at the fixtures that we have for tonight, please. Oasis will finish up the night. These are the current standings now for the group stages. Not yet uh, completed. We still have one more day to go, but yes. Yes, and I mean, Okami and Oasis have already sealed their position on qualifying for the upper bracket. Then today we're going to see some more matches from Group B and Group C as well. And then there's Group D will complete their layout run. So, yeah, these matches are going to be very, very interesting, especially the ones in Group D, in Group B. Alpha Zero is taking on Ruin and Kenshi. So Kenshi is at the bottom of the table. After is at the top. They're looking to end the group stage in high fashion. You know, three wins possibly. Or Ruin Kenshi can try and pull up a comeback and get at least one win in. It's possible. Anything is possible in Mobile Legends, right? And then Izanagi Alphas versus Outsweet Esports. Once again, the last match of the day that we have is this one. Outsweet Esports. Sorry, Dark Stars. Esports versus Oasis D2. Yeah, all right. So those are the fixtures that we have for the in Group C. Okay, I don't think we have any Group C matches tonight. Not yet. Ah, yes, we do. Dark Souls Esports versus Oasis D2. 
Ducks as another team looking to grab one more win before we head on into the upper brackets there. They already have the spots in second place, but Oasis D2, sorry, Dark Vanishers will make, give them a bit of a tough time if they're able to get their second win as well. And then deciding who will move up is where the problem will be. But um, let's just see how it goes on first. Once again, the daily schedule if you guys missed it best of one all games Roy Kenshin versus Alpha Zeros Oasis D2 versus Daxas Esports and Izanagi Alpha versus Outwit Esports those are oh, yeah, the fixtures the yes you know before we dive in once again a brief recap of the match we saw yesterday day six fake was taken lost terribly to a cartel there's no hiding it there's no no trying to keep down the volume we have to allow it because that defeat was nothing short of utter decimation from El Cartel. Then Izanami no Kami also went on to take out Zodiac and then Shadow Raiders too finished off the game against Oasis but they lost giving the win to Oasis and then moving them up by one way. Without further ado if the teams are ready we can head on into the draft phase of game number one Ronin Kenshin versus Alpha Zeros. See value in me? <laughs> you should. So here we are on the left, we've got Rory Kenshin buying out Ferdrin. While Alpha Zeros are going to be taking out Barat in the first slot, no more bands. Aurora ban, that should be the first time we've seen an Aurora ban in the group stage. So even after her revamp, a lot of people were scared of her initially, but after playing a lot, you realize that there's... she offers a lot, really, in team fights. She's like a second reincarnation of Eve, you know, but with some more. And then her new passive, free even kill. Then you have third band for Ruin Kenshi. Alpha Zeros, they don't want to deal with Diggy, they don't want to deal with Martis. So they take those two off. first choice now what do Ruronin have to have have to pick for us hi minotaur will finish off what was left undone always on the way and mm, my pick was so swift i didn't cure the pain like alpha zero to really have sticking. what they want to execute in mind here taking that Mathilda and valentina Ronnie have to be careful not to pick heroes that to you know make them suffer in the hands of Valentina. Do I mean, you want to make friends with Nana? Nana might seem harmless, but she still poses a significant level of threat. Molina is not My something to play with. She can easily turn three people into a walking dolls. Ixia. Good maximum choice there. Overwhelming or just how viable she is. Leslie. The Enders understand. Not bad. Are they looking to make pickoffs? The Yaban is always going to be there. My blood boils Your until the day I die. <laughs> We really don't have much to say about the Balmond ban because it's not, it's neither good nor bad. Because in the right lineup, Balmond can be a threat. <laughs> Probably looking I at the one jump ban, uh, the T-Roth ban, go the wrong way. Light me up and watch the wind burn! 
X-Web was left with him twice yesterday. <laughs> wasn't exactly the reason, but then he got hit with the left hand. The two teams that played him, Dark Stars and. Sorry, not Dark Stars. Oasis and um, Izanami, as I recall. Are we really gonna see Leo Mod though? It's been a long time since Leo Mod was nerfed hard. And that's what it will be. So Leo Mod Jungle Hades now left to choose or he's going to play with this lineup that Roroni have tossed at them. Is he actually going to go with his jungle though? Hovering over that Cyclops. It's possible, it's doable. Not exactly sure this is the perfect lineup for such a hero because Cyclops mobility is quite mobile with the skill to speed increase. But... So it's Cyclops decided. Come on, going on lazily for more mobility against Excel. Mm -hmm. well, she is mobile, but she's more of a single target hero. And well, that will help when you're making ganks, individual ganks, and pickups. Because most of the heroes that they've picked are targeted in that direction, apart from Valentina, who will probably take more of Benedetta or Ixia or even Minato's ultimate. There's an open window here for a lot of to be. We just have to keep an open mind. Presentation is equally very important there. RK versus AC. I thought all this is going to be a hot one. So we're in. We're in, we're in, we're in, we're in. Our zeros, anyways, like I've said before, they're a team that not to capitalize on enemy mistakes and push on through with those type of mistakes. So if RK if RK seem to have, uh, make any small mistakes, it will just be more of an advantage for Alpha Zeros. We might have to change those team names later on, but just for context, it's Roguni Kenshi versus Alpha Zero. So we already have first blood. First blood on Ixia on the gold lane. Good. Good start. And I mean, it's just a slow start to the game, right? Nothing to really. Solid draft. Yes, they have a good draft, but they're gonna have to deal with that by the Tina and her. I am. Uh, it's going to be easy to handle. 
Leo mod looking for an engage. Now, he ought to do, but was there anything to be worried about? Not really. Got out of that situation. Oh, wait, no, he got picked off. But yes, Leslie will work. Leslie will work. Against 16, Leslie does very, very well. She's one of those marksmen that will really give your opponent a tough time. There's only a handful of marksmen that can really stress her. One of them being Brony, in my personal opinion. Look at him, Ixia, once again sent back to base. Well, Valentina copying Minato's ults, preparing for any possible team fights. Mm. You can head over to Botley now and watch on that Torres game fight will happen. Team fights. Two kills there. Alpha is really strong already. Five kills in three minutes. Now looking to invade. Leo Mod might be in some trouble. It's Leo Mod. Oh, Minato went in. I checked with the flicker, but what? Damn. That was a bit of a late reply from Leo Mod, but we were able to take down Hades. Looking, Paquito giving Benedetta a bit of a tough time on the XP lane. You might be expecting a gank on bottling. They've got Valentina and Mathilda already making rotations. There's a ult from Leslie. Minato will tank that as though it's nothing. Ixia, though, he's gonna get dove on. Here's the engage from Leo Marge. Mathilda can't really make up her mind whether she wants to recall or not, but never mind, she'll still provide an assist or two. It's all from Ixad able to take Mathilda down. Ixad will get punished for that. Pack going in looking for some damage onto Leo just before the second turn of the game. Well, that Leslie's damage, too. Considering that's a tank. And in the mid lane, going and engage. Nana couldn't escape from that, not even with her passive. Benedetta is coming in. Can she make anything happen with the petrify combo? Takes down. Cyclops <laughs> Leslie didn't even decide to get a boot She was straight up running in for those damage items Look at that, she's about to take down Ixia once again Total number two in the hands of Alpha Zero. And Lee Mona is looking to force and engage. You're gonna go in with the fight, Ixia with the alt. So much going on on this map here. Hades will be happy to get a kill on Limord. Minotaur 2 will go down. 
If this is hate is trolling, then just imagine when he's actually being serious. Top of the table meets bottom of the table. Well, there's only one way it can end. They're on top for a reason. Look at that, Paquito with the flicker engage. But he just couldn't step out of that turn damage in time. Well, Liam already started to do something actually. Can they kill Mathilda? Yes. And one shot from this Leslie will be enough to seal the deal, chasing down with the sprint now. Couldn't finish up the job, but nice damage. Berserker Fury and Atsu, just those two items. And she's already done. Look at the that tank, yo. University. Ever since they made changes to create items, you know, removing Scarlet Phantom, Leslie players now have just opted for full damage. And I guess that has something to do with her passive. Every amount of Penetration is converted to is it converted to crit or just raw damage? This Paquito though might be in some trouble. Liam was gonna go in with the engage, but it takes him at least two characters before he's off. But Leslie's still fighting. It was possible to get a main at though, but nine and me not around having it all no, hold on. Still no turrets touched against our foes. Taking huge control. Huge control of the map. It's lowered up though, but easy don't want to get onto it yet. We just wait for the enhanced lord. Feel that when in close to Leo Mud. Minotaur might be looking for something. It's all from Cyclops or something, Nana, but that just brings out a passive legendary Leslie. Hex is gone. Leo Mud as well. There might not be any need for Lord. They could just end the game from here out with those minions. Ah, oh, never mind. The damage from turret still remains. But all we have left now is the inhibitors. Are the inhibitors? Ah, me no no be. Me no not to be. Well, this game isn't exactly easy for me at all, really. <laughs> Leslie maintaining impeccable position in here. He's definitely having the time of his life. Heavy defense. Matilda is gonna force the engage, but I think she will get taken down there. Yeah, that was far too deep. Oh, Liam Mod goes in looking for something. Excel with the follow up. Can she kill Cyclops? No. Oh, Leslie's damage. I should still kill Minotaur though. It wants for this man and his horse. They didn't last long, but we tried. We tried to escape. A few more seconds and we have the enhanced lord. Leslie just go her see your bird. So slight source of attack speed, but increased damage and anti heal, anti life steal. 
संबित पत्र को पूजा है तो मास्टर ले लेने की मांगी बनाएंगे तो मास्टर ने कितना दिया सो हियर इज अ बिग बिग फाइट्स मिनटर इज गॉन Exactly. This still wasn't safe on that turret from that Leslie's powerful shot. So why you take that gun away from Leslie before she begins to one shot the entire? Just look at that. Leo Moore didn't stand a chance. And Leslie now still chasing, going with that turret. Your fountain can't even. Yo, what is this? Even under the fountain, the healing spring of the fountain, and she still got one shot. It. Hacks? You want to call that hacks? Because that is insane. Minuto was still able to take someone down before he died. Alpha Zero is really just toying around. Oh my god, they have multiple, they have multiple chances, chances to end. There, there is no saving this. Even Benetta with everything on the it still couldn't survive the damage. 19 kills to 5, 19-0-5 KDA. Mirato, last man standing before any assistance can come. And just to got two shots from Leslie, and that was enough to take his less than half HP. That is enough to end the game. This is still a good performance from Arcade. I'd, I'd give that to them. There were a lot of mistakes made. You know, a lot of. Engages a minute to hard that I just weren't followed up from the rest of the team, and even if they even if they followed up, it it would just you know have ended in a very very bad fashion. They didn't have the game early on. That's just the sad part. But still, I think they put up a very very good fight. It's not exactly the best six year gameplay, but it's all right. Leslie, damage output insane. Rapid boots for mobility. It is one that is GG soon. Alpha Zero. So they've gotten their third win, ending on high fashion here. Yeah, Alpha Zeros. Yeah, Leslie's damage absolutely insane. Winners aren't right, Jukies. Yeah, small technical errors. We apologize for the mistake, but yeah, Alpha Zeros with the win. Anyway, while we we'll get set up for our game number two, Dark Stars Esports versus Oasis D2, we'll take a brief break, be right back, stay with us, and don't go anywhere.
all right everybody thank you for staying with us and we are back game one good gameplay you know good draft from both teams good execution but Alpha Zeros had the upper hand, obviously, and uh, well, they just executed what they had a lot better. Those those plays, especially the Valentina, made it really hard for Rony Kenshi to actually do much of anything because it's literally the same ultimate, right? It made very, very good engages. They're very, very good engages, but the rest of the team were a bit slack enough, and then the follow up, too, was a bit difficult. But it happens in games like this, you know, one team has to come out of tops, and Alpha Zeros did it in good fashion, right? So, Let's get on into game number two. Darkstars Esports versus Oasis D2. What are our expectations from this gameplay? We know DS uh, have one win and one loss. The loss to RNK, unfortunately. Now, Oasis D2 have no wins at all. So we're looking at probably another massacre here. But it's possible that Oasis D2 might get their first win here tonight. So let's not write them off yet. And if we are prepared, we can jump right into the draft phase of game number two. Dark Souls is for to versus Oasis E2. Let's get into it. Your team is banning. All right, here we are. So draft number one. Dark Souls is what has Ahmed J. So you're expecting a Hanzo ban from Oasis. There's a Valer ban from Dark Stars. Lilia, how do we forget Lilia ban? You don't want to give her to Don Dipsy there. That's, that's just a walk. Duzalo yet to make up his mind. Well, it's still a team you know, decision in either way. So it does just doesn't rely on one player, but the whole team contemplating and analyzing what are we gonna take off. Because we is half that we need to be worried about. Might be a Martis band, possibly, or even Diggy too. Diggy won't be a bad band. Yet. You should. Frederick, Frederick. It's unfortunate that there are some heroes that haven't gotten any screen time in this tournament. Really. They are actually quite OP, in my opinion. We're talking about some mages. Oasis are aware of what happened last time as Esports had Xbox. They didn't really end well. That was one game that gave them the victory they needed. There's the Diggy ban. Time to drop the beat of the Before we conclude the first half of the draft, we're gonna ban out Joy. Mm. And we may not open. Mm. Minato first pick. Minato first pick. Okay, okay. Oh, Bixana. Hmm. We might actually have that Vexana pick, and she won't really be bad here. Because one of those mages that can disrupt a lot of engages is actually Vexana. The terror from our skill one. Pardon me if I misplace the skill. That's the second Mathilda gameplay of the evening, guys. But we did see how well she worked for uh, Alpha Zeros in the first game. Oh no, you did not just do that. Oasis did not just do that. It left Hanzo for Ahmed G. Hmm. That's a, that's a mistake, actually. But 
Hanzo in himself, right, is not that much of a big scary assassin because he has a lot of counters. On ESP, you can just go Yuzhong, fly to where his body is hiding, and you know, end it. Assassins, you can look for Ling, Hayabusa, you know, these high mobile assassins that can just quickly get to his main body. But then, don't forget that playing with a team means you'll at least have one person camping that body and just waiting depending on how they want to gank right so if they're just looking to gank gold lane they can just keep like the mage there just stay there anybody comes in pop. but my jay on hanzo is something to really really be worried about only a few teams can handle this chaos let alone now bringing in some immobile heroes Mm. Well, the Barat's jungle isn't bad either. It's not exactly bad. He can, he can tank a lot of damage while still protecting his team and dishing out some too. Moscow. Hmm. So now we're just looking at predominantly maximum bans. I won't be surprised if there's another maximum ban here from Oasis. Probably. Which other master can be a threat now? Oh, maybe Nathan, maybe Brody, Clint, to mention a few. Hmm. I only know two active Uranus players Sir Green and hey, disciple is the proof that okay, none of them are alive. here unless of course i'm missing something please correct me unless of course i'm missing something but a uranus ban is there's yuzhong there's teresla these are some some of the most used exp heroes and by now uranus is not exactly something that deep if they pick uranus they can still oasis can you know go Esmeralda for the counter, but oh, Carrie is also there. Carrie, another good marksman that can be banned or picked either ways because the draft has been done. We got Brody banned as the final one for Dark Stars. We need a marksman now, and it's going to be Clint. Standard choice, quite move on. Irithyll. Hmm. I actually like Irithyll. Her mobility is wonderful. One of the only, if not the only marksman that can actually attack while moving, you know, while actively moving. Hold on a minute there. <laughs> Thamos. This game just makes Thanos look like one of those one of those side bot characters that can easily be just killed. One one. I've seen a lot of one one in this tournament. It will be good for a first time. Ah, but Cloud has had his feel shining very very well. Those MPL tournaments will tell you that Cloud is the best marksman for gold lane. Sorry. Somebody said Layla. <laughs> well, picking Layla is no right now. I want to even frown on that kind of idea because based on what the enemy lineup has, Layla, funny enough, Layla will actually fit into the lineup that Oasis are throwing at them. Of course, she'll have to be careful about Yuzhong, but she will actually fit because there's really not any hero that can swiftly get to her in the back line where she's protected by <coughs> where she's protected by Thamos and Minato and then there's Therese the Lock so that's it for the draft that's these are what the teams have decided to pick or they decide to execute Cloud Vengeance. Four flickers from Oasis. He is solid, very, very solid. 
It's unfortunate that this is just best of one because imagine a lot of these games could actually be played differently if it was like best of three teams learning from previous mistakes making changes to drafts some results might still be inevitable but it's good but yeah we will still have the playoffs coming up those now will include best of threes that's where the action will happen that's where you see a lot of twists and turns comebacks and still a lot of devouring some teams might go on 2-0 some teams might go 2-1 but all you know the playoffs is where it's gonna be at <laughs> Don deep sea this will be power on low ye. I didn't even notice when he went low ye. That's a good mage in this lineup. The reason I was Stamos is one fight that you can't really place a bet on. The reason is tanky, yes. But you see, Thamos, a man has a huge amount of damage output. Oh, Barat's got his red buff now. They really commit for the first little. And that thing about Hanzo is just how fast he cleared the jungle. Make fast rotations. And then quick ganks. Maybe especially a gank on Goldlin now. I oh, really didn't commit for it. Uh, who is he looking for? No, it's too far. Torudo spawning in about 10 seconds. That should be the formation of the major, first major team fight in this match. But he doesn't hit it yet. Just going, settling with blue buff, warming up. Hanzo isn't gonna give him a chance to do that. I want to force him to use the red tree. No, Hanzo uses his red tree to keep Barat away from buff. But that's just leaving this sort of free of charge. Are we gonna have a fight here? Tamos is popping the ult, popping the vengeance. Mathilda trying to keep Hanzo away. Just as secure Toro for his team. Now Thamos might be in some trouble. And that is the first blood. Oh, Barat found Hanzo. Yeah, I did it. Oh, can he get away in time? Yeah, I did it. Kill. Looking good for a 62. So farming not too far away from each other. Very close. Oh, don't leave C. Almost had that actually. Not all still there. It's already at level 4. Hanzo looks like he wants to get picked up. That's a lot of ultimates coming onto one character. He will get taken. That, that was what he called a manhunt. He went looking for meat for Hanzo. I 
Another thing is actually how fun Clark can be to play. He might look like he doesn't have, you know, huge damage output, but Claw is actually very, very useful. He's a damn marksman that you can play while having fun. It can still be very, very impactful in team fights, but we've got a fight going on here now. Hanzo looking to come out for revenge. Minotaur coupled with the ult. Marcella's gonna go down first. Penalty zone from Teresla. That won't keep him alive long enough. Two players off. Maybe a free turtle for Hanzo. Yo, it's not always about camping. Time you waste camping, your counterparts will just be using it to farm. And if you now camp without getting anything out of that camping, it just becomes useless. <laughs> Teleport straight back. Oh, Mathilde now is just the only heroes that should actually camp for any reason are like the Bomas. You know, the ones that don't exactly need to farm or what do we have here clint is about to get taken down that teleport was much much needed but can they actually kill him though so close so so close oh matilda's down cloud doesn't have the mirror to teleport away and gets punished Terizla, after losing his bottom lane to Tamus, went mid, was able to take that one, and now he's assisting his team on top side. Hanzo's body getting pulled towards him. Exana has gone though. Tamus might want to be careful with that push he's on. Nah, that was a good use of his ultimate. Masilda used hers to just get out of a dire situation. That was rough eating our life there. Hanzo is looking to force and engage, posing for Vexana. And he capitalized? Yes, he can. She's off. Still a lot going on. Look at Thomas now. Forcing Tesla to use a dead penalty zone across the wall. Top lane, we might have something going on there. Barats and Clint trying to force Cloud away. Mid lane turret is down. Now, this is what you call the Hawatch. He came in a little bit late. Cloud's going in full time with the vengeance as well. One thing though, I don't think vengeance was the best spell for Cloud in you know this this line of this matchup. Lexana once again being the focus of attention from Hanzo. Cloud might have been better with something like Aegis or Purify. Because the Vengeance, yeah, it's still useful, but that you want to take when you're dealing with heroes or opponent marksman that has high attack speed, you know, like Moscow, Melista, Exida to a certain degree. Oh, there's Minor Rage from Minotaur forcing out the fight, Barras goes down. <coughs> Hans won that turret. Get to be safely. Oh, Clint. Where did that even happen? <laughs> at all. At all. Dark stars are really, really spreading out this map, you know, going in all angles. Terry's now is about to get cornered. 
or with his passive saving. Yeah, that does the job. So he's still safe and sound. Hanzo doesn't look like he'll be ulting anytime so never mind. There's a flicker plus the death penalty zone to get out of a tough spot. Vexana's coming in with a mighty guardian. Fight breaks out. Terrasla's down. That's what I was saying. Man. You, don't, you don't leave Hanzo open for Ahmed J. You just don't. And with that player of the map, Dark Stars want to quickly take Lodge, make an advantageous push. Vexana escaping there. You know your Roma is good when he can make engages without dying. 007 KDA. Quick look at damage stats and the uh, items. the inhibitor standing and the god isn't even here yet but oasis can defend yeah, they definitely can defend this this lord will be easy and fast to take down the problem will come in if he actually touches one of those turrets because the minute one moves the enhanced lord that will spawn in 12 minutes at the 12 minute mark will just make it that much harder to defend yeah, you've got hands up going in first out the death penalty zone from Terizla. Like I said, you can defend this one. Oh, Minotaur took some massive damage, forced out the flicker. But he has a huge amount of heal. That's what Flask of Oasis can do. I mean, Jay goes back in the fight. Clint is gone. Good focus from Claw. Killing the screen now for Louis as she takes down Barats. It's only a two man defense. Never mind, a one man defense. They don't need the enhanced lord. They don't need the enhanced lord. Claws and massive attack speed will just be enough to end this game, ladies and gents. GDG's Dark Stars Esports. <coughs> Victory! GG's to Dark Stars Esports, guys. Nothing much to be said like you know I, th this doesn't actually feel fair because i feel like minato deserves the mvp there it's not easy to maintain zero zero and 10 kda 10 kill per special out of 13 but still prop up to hanzo like i said i said earlier you don't leave hanzo for ahmed j if you're not going to be able to pick his counters and from the moment oasis picked you know heroes are wearing very very mobile vexana terizla Dam, uh, Barats, it was all over, but they still tried nonetheless. Like, you have to appreciate the effort. GG's it always to both teams. Congratulations to Dark Stars Esports for adding one more to their tally. That's what we're gonna have for game number two. So, once again, very brief break, and we'll be right back for game number three, the final match of the evening. Outreach Esports versus Izanagi Alpha. Stay with us, and we'll be back.
All right, everybody, going now into the last match for Group B, Outwit Esports versus Izanagi. So, Outwit Esports and Izanagi, these two teams have one win and one loss each. And whoever wins this match, this very, very crucial match, will get to you know, move up into the upper brackets there higher part of the playoffs and it's going to be a very very important match alongside Alpha Zeros who just secured their third win in the first match tonight against Roin Kenshi. The previous match as well, Dazas Esports versus Oasis saw that team move up as well. Um, so basically, well, Alpha Zeros, sorry, Oasis D2 took their final L. Unfortunately, couldn't get to win any single match here tonight. And then Dark Stars Esports ended in a bit of a high fashion. Two wins and one loss. Nothing too serious there, right? But it is what it is. So, final game of the night. I'll tweet Esports versus Izanagi Alpha. Let's jump right into the draft phase. All right, so here we are. This match, very, very important. Very, very important. Currently on the table, I'll tweet each what are sitting higher than the Nagi Alphas um, due to stat differences, not in the number of wins or losses, due to stat differences. But whoever wins this game now gets to join Alpha Zeros in the upper half of the bracket moving on. You know, to the good part. <laughs> Barat and oh, Diggy Ban. Your team is banning. <laughs> A firm is banned. <laughs> Very mm, questionable. Questionable, but. Not not too bad either, not bad either. I wanted to say that the Barat's ban might not have been very very important, but um, Aizen is a very very unpredictable jungler. Of course he loves playing assassins, yes, but depending on the lineup that Izanagi wants to pull off here, he can still try and you know, swap that, swipe out that Barat and play it. Yuzhong is gonna be the ESP laner that's banned. So at least you know that your gold laner and mage can breathe easily. At least not have to worry about one massive flying dragon coming in from nowhere. Our tweet spot saw what Granger did in Izanagi's last match. Against Alpha Zeros. Even when all is forlorn. Even though they didn't win, they still, they still made sure Alpha Zeros felt that pain. So, banning him out now to just give them a safe spot. Vexana pick first pick once again. I harnessed it. Valentina. Valentina has done so to my memory. Really. I think I can say all my knowledge serves that she has about 100% win rate in every match that she's been picked in. Merator, on the other hand, has been picked a lot, but probably about 50% win rate. You know, some teams have been able to use his kit up to maximize their victory, but. Mexana Valentina oh. should be one of those heroes with uh, high high win rates this tournament. When the body suffers, your team the is spirit bearing. blooms. Everybody following the meta, we've got an arena. And then they are EXP. Buying out Fulvius. That's a very smart ban, actually. 
That's a very, very smart buy. XR pick. The last XR wasn't good. Like this one, hopefully, it can be different. This, this game is very, very crucial. So every pick, every draft matters. Frederick Banner. Single worthy foe. No, no, it, it, on the way your team is picking but still the band for the final one the final slot there juju you just be by roman hero to play such i mean at all but i think in this match we might see a possible tiger pick there's still room for a lot of tanks or room heroes to play Tiger might be okay here. Tiger is open. Maybe Estes. Maybe oh. Tiger might actually fit in here. Ha! <laughs> Tiger hasn't even been picked, and Sarah's already changed the spell. The fear of Tiger is the beginning of wisdom. <laughs> Johnson, though. But why do I feel as if Tiger <laughs> might have been a lot better here? That's yeah, only how you know play style, skill two. Oh, actually no, that's literally the best play here. Yeah? Skill two, <laughs> link fatal links to as much enemies as you can, and then plop them to a spot. And then Tiger though has this small bit of element of surprise there. Conceal, Wait. alt flicker. And then still push them yeah, back. I mean, no. the ball almost the same thing. Almost very, very similar, yeah. Whichever one works. A punch for a punch. I tolerate no invader. Yeah. Hmm. Hayabusa jungle. And back into EXP. Living nice and now to the side. Why is he going to play in the jungle? <laughs> Scrolling through his favorite assassins, Lancelot, Ling. Both of them have crowd control ability, though, so they really won't be much of a threat for this Hayabusa. Sure. Or Hayabusa won't be much of a threat to him. Or the way he's sure. keeping his hands on this Lancelot, it might just be Lancelot gameplay, some carry dashes and movements. Looking very, very possible. We're gonna have Lance. Starlight of Pisces shines on my sword. Yes, it will be. No argument there. Lancelot Jungle. It's a very, very good pick actually into this Hayabusa Jungle. Even though he's not the main focus. Yeah, I see a lot of you are excited about Assassin games. This will be a very, a very, very good match indeed. I'm gonna So that concludes the draft. That concludes the draft. And good evening to you too, to yeah. all of you. Alt T Sports is an Agi Alpha. It's the battle for second position. The battle for who will join Alpha Zeros in the upper bracket. Between o Oasis and Rurouni Kenshin, Oasis didn't play against Rurouni Kenshin. Oasis played against Dark Stars Esports with DS getting the win, while Rurouni Kenshin lost to Alpha Zeros in the first match. Welcome to Mobile Legends. Five seconds till the enemy reaches the battlefield. Smash On to the gameplay. Key heroes to look out for now in this game is probably going to be the two assassins, right? 
because there's a lot that he can do. So, it's been a request for a pause. We'll take that and uh, we'll take that and we'll be right back. Wait, that bit up. Alright, we're back. <coughs> if both teams will bring their A game, that's the problem. You know, we have to be very, very careful. Haya is going to cook, Lancelot is going to cook, but well, let's see whose dish will taste better. Kito already going head to head against Benetta on that EX plane. Can we take a look at that action? Those two fighters are just not relenting. Game barely one minute in and they're already at about 70% HP. So back on mid lane, we might have an engage here, forcing out the purify from Vexana. Hayabusa means so ninja. Ah, yes, yes, ninja. Look at that. Valentina almost took down Bexana. That has to be one of the sweetest recall effects. Are we gonna have a gag now? Hayabusa. Just didn't wait long enough, or rather the outplay from Ashura was fast. Quickly flickered as soon as I came on him. You know, if you're not careful with Hayabusa, Lancelot can easily cancel Haya's ultimate. So that's why I'd say in this case, Hayabusa, Lancelot is better than Hayabusa. Exactly. So that would not be a game of patience. But we've got Benedetta though, drawing first blood on Vexana. Danny now might be next to go down. Look at the wrong way, if you ask me. He's doing a lot with the bro. He's only taking shots now from his Valentina with Vexana's ultimate. So first turtle, easily secured by Lancelot there. Forced to retreat there, no manner. And Loki is already on gold lane. Just waiting for Abusa to finish up with the red buff and then probably rotate in this direction. So we can be expecting another Ixia ban. But still looking at this AXP lane here, we're on a read. Seems to be taking a lot of damage from Bakito. 
tail now to bottom side. There's a Minotaur in position. Good vision there. Atlas is going in. There's a fatal link now onto Club, but he can quickly reposition. Minotaur might be in some trouble. Gets taken down by Aizen. Hayabusa is going back in. Shadow Yogi. Just when things were about to get heated. Just when things were about to get heated, we need to have seen a replay of that engage. The two tanks went down. Yeah, those, those were the, the two tanks that went down. So let's wait for the pause to expire and then we'll get back into it. Right back where we left off. Okay. I absolutely love how these two years playing are going against each other. Oh, there's a petrified combo from Benetta. Can she get the kill? Yes, she does. Well played. Meanwhile, Gold Lane. They saw how Minato got picked up there. Benetta taking down for revenge arc there from higher. Cloud is off as well. And this just might be the first turn to go down. We've got four heroes focusing on one turn. What's that shield? That outer turn shield won't be able to hold out long enough. Atlas, good vision there. We take patient the fire Abusa. He came back in. See Minotaur going with Flicker Engage. There's a follow up now. Lancelot forced to use the dash and get into a safe spot. Atlas is off. Still doing damage with the Shadow Yuki. Goes back in, finishes the whole Ixia. Oh, Lancelot didn't stay alive long enough. Highly doubt there'll be a contest for that turtle, but GG's on that team fight. Zanagi Alphas are looking good to K Gold League. Benny couldn't stand a chance. At one point, Benetta wins uh, another level. Makito wins. It's definitely something to look forward to. Uh, Atlas coming in. Swift movements from Cloud. Spirits taking down in total one on either side. EXP and gold. Against Izanagi and Altwitz, respectively. With Izanagi's <laughs> strength standing just almost 1%. Oh, Lancelot there, we're looking for Lance in a lot of trouble. 
I'm saying. Leads into it now from Quad. Popped up together with Sprint. <laughs> oh, Ixia is getting fed. Definitely love that attention to prioritization of items there. Went in our wind of nature. Sorry. Hmm? My item is as of. Yeah, wind of nature. Uh, second item, most likely. Third. I will take a quick look at the builds. Yes. Yeah, the second item, made after the Croatian Sky. Just to hold a safer ground against Ayabusa. That turtle secure, we're gonna have a fight coming out. Exana brings out the mighty guardian. Miss Benetta now has an open window to rotate and join team fights as much as she can. That will prove very, very useful actually, especially against Cloud and Vex. We should still have to at least try and push up on that top lane. His Nagis were able to take down the mid lane. Oh, he is cooking, he is cooking, but it's still not looking very, very good for them. 3k gold lead in favor of his Anagi Alpha. Ah, Glass, looking for an opportunity, waiting for the sound to come to purify. Which he has already fatal links onto two targets. Lancelot to be there to finally execute them. Pakito under the tower looking for Ixia. Just wasn't fast enough. So that was a one for two trade off in that team fight. It's too bad for Pico there. She couldn't so he couldn't survive. And once again. Zanagi looking for an opportunity to push, which they will take very, very fast. Cloud just got his Demon Hunter sword, man, expecting some good job, man. Fast HP drop in there on wherever he targets. Mexana, he not scared of going in full time, took Minato's ultimate. Maybe we're expecting a fight on this team fight. Yes, we are. Killing spree for Aizen. Veneta's going in, trying to land the petrified combo. She might be in trouble yet, yeah, but safe and sound. And definitely, the team is really, really holding the back. Abusa is going in, trying to for an opportunity. Get some damage out. Able to steal the Lord Ninja for the win. Let him cook, guys. Let him cook. Yes, Ixia, one more time. Wait for ultimate as well. But Ninja did a very, very good job there. He was able to get that turtle, get that lord. Yeah, but that was just too unfortunate. Ashura, though, showing us a different level of marksman gameplay. Patience. Sidesteppings. Oh no, this, this Hayabusa is good. I'll give him that. He is very, very good. One or two mistakes being made there, costing him his life. Or uh, when you're talking about focusing on objectives, he's really doing that very, very well. The only problem is that it's an anti alpha, just a team that knows how to capitalize, know when to you know, engage, disengage. And that's what's keeping them up right now. <laughs> Outweet esports just need to step up their gameplay and they might actually be able to pull a comeback. But right now, the Nagis are gradually getting to cruise control. They already have a good advantage 4k gold lead. Sorry, 6k. There's been a petrified combo, catches Vexana off guard, but that was too deep. She gets taken. I thought Lancelot was going to pull up Kyrie then and catch Vexana under the tower, but really not much to worry about. Valentina went looking for Cloud, forced him to bring out the turret. The mirror image. 
So that was an unfortunate loss of the Lord. It's an Aggie House will have to wait one more minute. But at least they'll get their hands on the enhanced lodge. They can pay more attention to it and secure it to go a long way in ending this game fast. But don't worry, the fans of Alto Team Sports can still hold on to cold. Aizen and Ninja are almost at the same level, even though Aizen is. Well, Aizen is definitely higher, anyway. 6 2 7 KDA with 8k farm. Currently, the highest farmed hero is Ixia, 8k. It's 700. I will say, still functionally trying to maintain a balance level between him and one slot. So, anyone he catches in a 1v1 situation will still prove very, very troublesome. But he can't really do much. Valentina and At Atlas, too tanky. Valentina is sticking close to her you know, characters. Ixia with Wind of Nature. Benedetta with the damage immune. Hayabusa just has to time everything right. Minato might go in with an engage. Atlas will keep something. Minato is going to go down first. Lancelot might be in trouble here. Oh, yes, he is. Fatal links now from Atlas. <coughs> Cloud is off. Hayabusa still, oh, Hayabusa got taken. If this is a wipeout, they might just be able to end without needing the Lord. Isa is still going to try and take it though. Got hands. He's an Aggie Alpha. Getting the Lord without the help of the jungler. But one more second until Minato returns, so that will just be the first line of defense. I feel like Benedetta, you feel like you might be able to go 1v5, but that was before her nerf when her damage was still massive. Before they damaged the Electro Final Blade. Before they nerfed it, rather. Lord going down mid lane, but nobody to push with it. I doubt that inhibitor will fall there. Oh no, never mind, it did. Garden helmet on Atlas now. Vex Valentina once again. The only odd that I has copied throughout this entire match is Minato's on one range. Not reach. Is that what it's even called? Nah, I'm mistaking something. all she needs to. Don't wait in position. Two tanks doing their due diligence vision. Very, very important. We we'll still have to wait about one more minute before the next one will be up the evolved world. But Ninja's team, Mathilda. Yeah. Maybe. 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 I'll still, t I'll still say Ninja is doing an okay job. Making some mistakes here. I don't think maybe just the tension. Because they're really fighting for something very, very important here. You need two assassins. Where do you see two? Oh, Paquito is also an assassin. Huh? Atlas is going in looking for somebody. That was a waste of an ultimate. Yeah, he's paying attention to. Focus a lot on S Cloud now looking for X at the back there. First time the wind of nature from her. Hayabusa still has his ultimate. He's gonna be good to use it on Bene. Can he get a double kill on 
Ixia, yes, that's a double kill. This is a mistake now that Outwit Esports needed is an Aggie Alphas to make. And now they're gonna force a chase. Vexana's gonna go, Valentina's gonna go down. Will that be a maniac? No, it won't be. That would be a very, very long fight to take. A very, very long. There was no need for that. It's really on the sides of an Aggie Alpha. But I said it before that it just takes one mistake for Outwit Esports to capitalize, and now they have done that. Now they're going to Although they're going to need more than that anyway. Because Veneta is coming in soon. So will Ixia and Lancelot. And you can only push as far to the inhibitors. Nothing more. And when the Lord comes, is where the major difference will happen. Cloud's still going in strong. Well, this combat will be massively done. <laughs> Who's that character? Is that Paquito? Forced out the mortality. Could have just waited. Really could have just waited. And Lord is pushing down bottom lane. They're not even giving it any chance to go near the turret. Lance, quick to use the Regi. It's about to charge. Good defense. The yeah, so the, 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 the Lord touch the turret at all. Minoan Fury. Yeah, Pagito was too aggressive there. There's been a request for a pause. That's gonna last for another two minutes, so let's hold that a little bit back. We're back, we're back. Nice songs, but album. Boy, Abusa is going in looking for something. Thank you, media team. So, with that, both teams now are heavily defending and guarding what they can protect. It's all about mistakes from here on out. One more time, I am you, one, two, Minotaurs. No one fury. Lance trying to get his hands on his blue buff. Uh, Booster is coming in. Secured by Beatrix and uh, Ixia instead. We know fury coming out. That's gonna be the fight. Cloud's gonna be the first to go take. Yeesh. It's kind of hard to keep up actually, but uh, there's a lot going on. Danny's off the map. Hayabusa is shut down. That Hayabusa kill is literally the most important kill right now that Izanagi Alpha has did because he has been the stronghold for Outwit Esports. Vexana is getting down as well. Minato might be next to follow. Forces out the flicker. <coughs> Looking to get away. He actually still got stunned by Atlas. Ah, that is it. There's no hold. There's no holding this. There is no holding this back. Ladies and gentlemen, GG's to